Hey everybody, my name is Kale Prindle, and I'm a nerd fighter. In general, I feel like I was a little slow getting into the YouTube space and knowing what I know now, even slower in getting to know who the Vlogbrothers were. It was 2004 in Lincoln, Nebraska. I was taking a grad class over the summer, and one day a fellow teacher began the period with, if anybody can get the attention of high schoolers, it's John Green. She then played the first video in Crash Course Literature, and I was transfixed by this guy who could say so many great things about English that I also believed fully and, and I laughed out loud when he said Faulkner under the stars. However, the class ended, I was busy with a move to California, and the man who spoke so well about literature was forgotten. That was until I was unpacking boxes in California and listening to Rhett and Link's Ear Biscuits. I was fascinated by this guy, a YouTuber, an author that was once a hospital chaplain? I needed to know more. Also during the biscuit there were these mentions of a guy named Hank, you know, whoever he was. Like most episodes in season one of Ear Biscuits, the John Green episode drove me to YouTube to catch up on all the YouTubiness that I didn't know about yet, and it didn't take long before I was binge watching Crash Course and SciShow and marking the calendar for every Tuesday and Friday. The influence of John and Hank Green is everywhere in my life at this point. Like, as a high school English teacher, I frequently pull from Crash Course Literature and U.S. History, and pretty much every year I show the Fahrenheit 451 videos from the Vlogbrothers channel. But more than that, when I stopped to consider what Nerdfighteria has done for me, I ultimately return to trying to not forget to be awesome. So when I first heard the Vlogbrother catchphrase or call to action or whatever you want to call it, I thought of it as just kind of an amusing internet-like thing to say, but the more engaged I became with Nerdfighteria, the more profound the phrase became. Being awesome wasn't just something I did for myself. It was something I did for others. I owe Hank and John a lot when I consider my place in the world. As a lifelong Christian, I surprisingly, or unsurprisingly, missed out a lot on the element of compassion and the imagining of things complexly. John's history as a chaplain appealed to my upbringing and to my worldview, but it was actually Hank who exploded my mind. In Hank's episode of Ear Biscuits, Rhett and Link talked to Hank about the humanitarian work sponsored by Nerdfighteria with the Project for Awesome. In contrast to John's religious worldview, Hank was asked the question, Why do you want to decrease world suck if you're not doing it for God? Well, I mean, what? <laughs> I, found that, I find that question very funny. So who are you doing it for? <laughs> Uh, the people <laughs> who are suffering. <laughs> I was raised in a simplistic view of the world, a world that included good godly people and then everybody else. And in one fell swoop, Hank dismantled a misunderstanding and prejudice I'd been wired with. Apparently, people who didn't believe in God could also be good people. It was one in a long series of lessons in imagining people complexly. It's been about three years since I stumbled upon the Vlogbrothers in Nerdfighteria, and the influence of John and Hank continues to be seen in my life. When I started making videos of my own in 2015, it was the Vlogbrothers style that felt the most accessible to me. And then in July of 2015, I attended my first VidCon and soon found an ocean of friendly, supportive people born and raised in the online Vlogbrothers tradition of compassion and empathy. They cheered me on in my efforts and are some of the most important people in keeping me positive in my work. I don't know what my life would be like without Nerdfighteria and the work of John and Hank. They continually illuminate new pathways of thought and action. Whether it's videos about how to vote or new ways of thinking about environmental and social issues or the buzz around the project for awesome, Nerdfighteria is a place of hope. Its depth of care for the world is infectious. It came into my life and shook me like a tree in autumn, and I dropped a lot of my previously held beliefs, only to spring up in a world that is teeming with compassion and a dedication to see people as valuable, multifaceted, complex individuals. And for that, I am appreciative. DFTBA, everyone.